Hey guys, it's Derek from UK. You probably recognize me from the forums. We were decided, we've decided to step up our YouTube channel efforts, and in our last video, which you can check out here, we unboxed the L kit, and now we're going to look at the X kits. Keep the X kits in the fridge for you guys, for the extreme users. So it's extra frosty for you. The X kits take everything that the L kits were based off of and they just take it to a bigger level. You've got a bigger radiator, you've got a little bit more customization in the loop with separate reservoir and pump combos. So let's get started. Alright guys, so as with our last video, we've gone ahead and unboxed everything for you because we don't need me awkwardly taking things out of a box for 10-15 minutes. So up first, we've got our flagship Evo block. This is the Plexi version and our most popular block ever, in fact. Uh, similar to the MX, has LED ports on the side, which are included in the X kit here. When you light it up and put it all together, it looks really cool in a case. Uh, like the MX, it is upgradable. You can have full metal tops, you can have acetal tops, you have pretty much anything you want. We have around 19 combinations right now that you can change and mix and match to get the look that you want. The biggest difference between the L kit and the X kit is separate reservoir and pumps. In the previous kit, they're together for convenience and space-wise. In this one, they're apart. In most loops, they are actually apart. Um, the reason combinations are easier is because you only have to mount one thing. But this way, you have a little bit more customization. You can make it yours. You can put the reservoir up front in the window and you can hide the pump down below if you want. It's up to you, really. First up, we've got the pump. This is the DDC industry standard pump from Lang. Uh, we've put our special plexi top on it to optimize flow. And we've also put an aluminum heat sink on the bottom. This cools the pump and makes it last much longer. Similar to the L kit, it also has rubber standoffs. So you can reduce noise vibrations by a significant amount. And the reservoir, this is our X3 reservoir system. The tube can be upgraded to about this size or you can make it smaller if you want has different tops for multi-port tops, pretty much anything you want, black, white, all that good stuff. It also includes the mounting gear to mount it to your case, but you will probably need to drill some holes depending on how modern your case is. Uh, no pink box this time, but we do have two mounting plates to mount the reservoir, and not the reservoir, but the pump to 120 millimeter fan, pretty much anything you want really at this point. Uh, depends up, it's just your creativity. Unlike the L kits, we've got clear tubing in this one, so you can, it matches the blocks a little bit more, and customize it, put colored, colored coolant in. Um, again, we do include clear just to be kind of neutral on that because we don't know what people want. Uh, you know, people like blue, red, green, whatever. You can visit our web shop to see all our colors, we've got a ton of them. And of course, you can mix and match if you want something else. Uh, we've got the right size fittings, also nickel in this one. We've got another Allen key to tighten them all down and make sure the O-rings are secure and everything looks good. And since O-rings are probably the number one source of leaking, so if you secure it with this, which I don't think any other fittings on the market have this feature, then you're good to go. Uh, with cables again, you've got your LEDs for your block and you've got your fan splitter to keep your cable management under control and you've got your ATX power supply adapter. This allows you to run your pump without turning the rest of your system on and make sure everything is good to go and leak free before you turn on your expensive components. If you spill uh, coolant on your components while they're off, you dry it off, it's no problem at all. It's really not a big issue. Another difference between the two is this much thicker radiator. This is 60 millimeter thick. It's our brand new XE radiator. So far, we used to put it at the top of over 25 other radiators on the market, which is number one, <laughs> otherwise known as. Uh, on the back, you have ports for it so you can change depending on your case configuration, do whatever you want. And again, we have our three Vardar fans. These are optimized for water cooling, optimized for this radiator specifically. We encourage enthusiasts and beginners alike to use these fans. We know that you'll love them once you give them a try. All right guys, so that's everything again. That was quick. Water cooling, there's just not a lot to it. It's actually pretty simple once you get into it. And I assure you, the first loop you build, you're, you're gonna think that wasn't too bad and you're gonna wanna do another one. It's always how it is. Um, as I mentioned before, we're stepping up our YouTube channel efforts, so please follow our social media for more content. And if you have any questions about technical stuff, you can check us out on overclock.net forum. We have our own sub forum there, or myself, our marketing team, uh, our 
CEO is even there sometimes to answer questions. So check it out. It's a great community and they'll love to help you out with anything you have. Again, follow our social media. Please subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more stuff. And of course, comment if you have any other ideas in mind for videos.